Good day everyone. Let's try to answer some math problem posted on Facebook. And let's start. Here's the question. Our goal in this question is to solve the measure of angle X. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. And if you're ready, here's the solution. And I hope you pause this video. Now, let's see if you get the correct answer. Now, let's answer this question together. First thing to do is to notice that we have given parallel lines. Therefore, we can use the property of parallel lines. If we have parallel lines and cut by another line, and this line is called a transversal line, interestingly, we have a lot of congruent angles. For example, these two angles, they are called the alternate interior angles, and alternate interior angles are equal. We will use this concept to answer this question. To do that, first thing to do is to draw some parallel lines like this. Now, we will use the concept of alternate interior angles. If this angle measures 60 degrees, therefore, this angle is also 60 degrees because they are alternate interior angles. Now, since the total measure of this angle is 80 degrees, it follows that the remaining angle must be 20 degrees. Next, let's draw another line like this, which is parallel to the other three. Now, using again the concept of the alternate interior angles, if this is 20 degrees, it follows that this angle must be 20 degrees also. Now, since the total measure of this angle is 50 degrees, therefore, the remaining angle must be 30 degrees. For the last time, draw a horizontal line parallel to these four lines. Now, if this is 30 degrees, this angle must be 30 degrees because they are alternate interior angles. Since the total measure of this angle is 70 degrees, it follows that the remaining angle must be 40 degrees. Therefore, the value of x must be equal to 40 degrees because they are alternate interior angles. Therefore, our answer to this question is 40 degrees and we're done. Before I end this video, here's the shortcut. If we add angle X, 50 degrees and 60 degrees, it is equal to the sum of 70 degrees and 80 degrees. Therefore, X must be equal to 80 degrees plus 70 degrees minus 60 degrees minus 50 degrees. Or simply, we get 40 degrees. And again, as always, we're done.